version, as I told you, like your homework, is different types of problems. So now we have a problem that, again, we need to solve for our x, and our x is as an exponent, right? So what we can do for a problem like this is we're going to have to now, we want to isolate the 6 raised to the x, right? So we isolate, and then we want to see if we can get them to be the same basis. So I subtract 10, subtract 10, so I have 6 to the x equals 37. Now, unfortunately, we know we cannot rewrite that 37 as a base 6, right? If my problem was 6 to the x equals 36, then we'd be all good, right? 6 to the x equals 6 squared, x equals 2, right? That'd be, that'd be nice if we had that. Unfortunately, we can't do that for this problem. So what we're going to have to do is be able to determine another way that we can solve this. So what we have to do is go back to our brain and remember um, our logarithmic properties. A logarithmic property says, if I take log base b of x, that's going to be equal to log base b of y, then x equals y. Right? You guys, that's a property we talked about. Another thing I'll say, let's say I have x, um, 3x equals 15. You guys understand, if I apply the same operations to both sides, what I, what I obtain is equivalent equations. This equation and my original equation are equivalent, right? They're just in different forms, correct? So as long as you do the same thing to both sides of an equation, you're OK. So the first step is to isolate it. Now I have my exponential isolated. Now I need to get rid of this 6. I need to get the x down to the bottom. Well, so there's a couple ways we can do this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use this property of logs. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take the log of both sides. In the log, I'm going to choose log base 6. Now, why would I choose log base 6? Well, because I know the base of my exponent is 6, right? So then it goes to my other property of logarithms. Remember, if I have log base x of x raised to the m, that just equals m, right? Remember we talked about that in evaluating? So if I choose to use log base 6, of 6 raised to the x, I know that's now just going to equal x. Right, so now I have x equals log base 6 of 37. Well, now that becomes a problem, because how are we going to evaluate log base 6 of 7 if we don't have a um, calculator where we can choose our base? So then we have to use the change of base formula, right? So therefore, x equals log. I mean, you can do ln or log of 37 over log of 6, assuming you're using base 10. All right? If you don't write in the base with logarithms, you're assuming you're base 10. And the majority of your calculators are only going to do base 10. So therefore, you can figure that out. Now, I don't have my calculator on me. So could anybody round that to the hundredth for me? 2.015. X equals 2.015. So I'll round it to the, I'm going to do 2.02. OK? And that's it. Get. Not too bad, right? We haven't got to the good ones yet, but that's okay.